Okay, guys. So this is the Panna round 12. It came in from Amazon. I absolutely am excited to try it. Um, now, I am new to doing nails and things like that. So everything that I do is going to be just testing it out and seeing how it goes. Now, it has these little hair thingies that are all loose, but I'm going to go ahead and wet it and see if they lay down. It is such a fat brush. I cannot wait to use this. So far it looks really nice. It is definitely laying down the way that I like it. Um, it has that little bit of the bristles at the end. Um, now these little hairs are driving me nuts, so I usually don't mess with them, but in this case I think I'm going to go ahead and snip them off. Um, so let's get to snipping. I don't know if things like that drive y'all crazy, but they drive me absolutely nuts. So I went ahead and snipped them off, and I did go ahead and prep a hand. Uh, my training hand. So we're going to go ahead and practice on the hand and utilize that. Now I am using Mia Secrets Monomer. I'm also using Mia Secrets the Clear Acrylic. You know, in training, they have us using CND, but I find that I do really like the Mia Secrets. Um, I also use a lot of Glam and Glitz because I just love the colors. Now, I did go ahead and prep my practice hand. Um, you know, this is, I call it my man hand because the fingers are so huge. Okay, so I wanted to put everything together so that we could kind of have y'all seeing how I dip into my acrylic. Um, I kind of do a a dab, dab, dab. Uh, that's like for lack of a better term. I do the dab, dab, dab so that it kind of picks up more acrylic on the brush. Um, I learned that after watching Young Nails. I don't know if any of you guys watch Young Nails, but they're absolutely amazing. Um, now my angle here is so crazy, so the struggle is definitely real. Now one thing I can tell about this brush is that when I dip it in monomer, it is a juicy brush. Like it holds the acrylic, but it holds enough monomer to keep it going. So it kind of helps just push that acrylic right down the nail, uh, which is something I was lacking with my CND brush. Uh, my CND was only a size eight. This is a size 12. Um, the CND brush, you there's no way to do like the one bead method. I mean, it's just not gonna hold enough 
acrylic and monomer to, to keep it going. Um, it's like if you do pick up a big blob of acrylic, then you know it's gonna end up being pretty dry because it just is unable to hold enough monomer to keep it going. And yeah, I said juicy. <laughs> Now, as you can see, I mean, this is just laying so amazing. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have a panna. If you do, chime in in the comments below and let me know what you feel about it. Um, I do have another brush coming in that I'm going to review later this week or maybe next week as well. Um, it's a size 10 alpha. Um, I did want to get two different sizes just to try to see what the difference would be. Um, and I absolutely love this one so far. So, so far so good, guys. I am just sitting here kind of editing my video and I really am amazed at how smooth this brush lays out that acrylic. Um, I am new to the acrylic game. Um, I, I love it. I've fallen completely head over heels. I am in school for it right now and um, can't wait to actually get my license and be working on actual clients all the time. Um, I do get to work on clients at school already. So with this video and most of my videos going forward, um, you know, I'm learning and if you're learning, then I guess we're learning together. Uh, if any of you guys want to leave comments and let me know what I could do better because you know as you see like right here I am a little clumsy with it. I am in no way shape or form like a professional yet so you're gonna see me trial and error through all of my videos. Um, you know feel free to, to help me out and if there's anything that you want me to try be sure and leave comments and I don't mind doing them at all.
So this bead was super duper loose. So I kind of got out of frame, but I was basically seeing how like wet the bead could be and apparently I got it really wet. So I had to work with it a little bit. Now quick question, what are your favorite brushes? So what are you guys working with and why? So be sure and leave a comment below with what brush you use and why it's your favorite. Like, did you try other brushes? Um, is this just something that was like the first brush that you landed so you just haven't tried? You know, and if there's a lot of different brushes, I might go through and order a few of them just to review them. Uh, be sure and take a moment to hit like hit subscribe and hit that notification bell and we'll see what our next video is. I actually have two more recorded so uh, in the next few days there will be a couple more videos out as well. I'm doing a little bit of nail design on this set in particular and I did some nail design on another set so I think you guys will like them. Be free. Oh, it's wrong. I can't be right. I love the bird of all you said. You say those things, then shut me out. Got no clue what you have found. I'm a rose in thorns, but you cut me down. It's wrong, I can't be right. I love the butterfly you said.
So this is about it guys, um, I must say that I really do like this brush. Um, I think that if I had more experience then it would run a lot smoother. I think I will have to break myself into it. I do like the idea of using this big gigantic brush. I don't know how people use like 14s, 16s, 18s, even 20s. Um, I do have to give it to them for being able to control that. That is like some power that you are having to control. Um, but I do want to master this brush, so I am going to master it. Um, you'll definitely see it around. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I am going to leave a link to the brush down below in the little description. Uh, I also have a link to my Instagram, to my Facebook, um, I do have a Facebook group called Coffin Girl Nails, um, and thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, here I am, I am gonna, like, I do just kind of quickly push through the brush to see if there's any acrylic. It didn't hold any acrylic, like, it is smooth, clean, absolutely amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me and um, be sure and like and subscribe and I will see you next time, okay? Bye!